if, if people don't have Christ, can they be held accountable for things that they don't know any better about doing? And I know that sounds a little confusing, but it'll get clearer. Uh, for example, if I'm not a Christian and I'm lying to people, I may not know that lying is wrong because I don't have the Holy Spirit. I don't have discernment. I don't have a, a real moral compass or a conscience telling me one way or another. Now, I might have some people around saying, hey, you shouldn't do that. But who are they to me? I don't care about them because why would I? I care about me. When you become a Christian, you start to know right from wrong because you learn the Bible, you have the Holy Spirit, and you start to realize that rather than only caring about me, I can care about other people. So then when other people say, hey, don't do that, you're going to be like, okay, I should think about that and whether or not I want to do that anymore. And so these people who aren't believers, can they be held accountable? Well, they will be held accountable by God, but you have to remember here on earth to treat them with love and compassion because they truly may not know what they're doing wrong. And so that's something too. Be bold and courageous and point it out to them. And it says that in the Bible too. If, if someone is stumbling, speak with that person. Tell them. Say, hey, what you're doing is wrong. Not in front of everyone. Not like, hey, come up here and let me broadcast your problems to all of this group. But later, when it's the two of you, speak to them. Then if they don't listen, go and get two or three others. Come to them and talk. And then if they still don't listen, it says continue it further, whether it's through in front of the whole temple or the, the court system in today's world, but it's two of you. So you, you have to take the first step. As part of the body of Christ, we have to do that. So for Joanne Fabric, where's the manager? Why is this stuff in your store? Do you know what this is promoting? And maybe they don't know. And then if they don't listen, get more people come in. Maybe solicit some churches in the area. Start standing up for what we need to be believing in and what we do believe in. Let me go to this.